Hello everyone. This is something I I just discovered. I don't admittedly I don't have a very large database. I've only got two master lot 150s. Um I've raked these open and you know zipped them open and done a bunch of different stuff, but like I said I was I've been going back to single pin picking and one of the techniques that you use when you're single pin picking uh if you're trying to, you know, in this case, I'm going off of a warding down here, and I'm doing bottom of the keyway, so I don't have a lot of room <clears throat> that you would normally have if you did top of the keyway. Excuse me. So, uh, one of the things you do is you kind of wiggle the pick, you know, to help lift pins up. And uh, what's odd about this this lock? I hope to capture it. But look at that. All I was doing was wiggling, you know, and I thought, okay, that's odd, you know, and uh, I didn't have the key with me at the time. I, I went and dug out my, but that's the bidding on that one. I mean, so, <clears throat> all right, so I thought, you know, maybe it's the bidding. I've got another key right here. I had the this attached to it, and look at that. You couldn't ask for a better zip you know type of profile but uh this one is a little bit harder to do it but it will do the same thing the same way you basically like i said i'm going off this this warding right down here and i stick my pick in and i wiggle it and it pops now like i said this one it doesn't uh it doesn't always demonstrate that one. You know, I'm probably hitting the other pins like <clears throat> the the you need to set up the higher one here in the back because it is kind of like a ski slope. This guy doesn't want to demonstrate it right now. But it was doing the same thing on this one. Look at that. It just did it. All right. So I was just basically stuck the pick all the way in. There's five pins all the way towards the back. I started wiggling. That's all I was doing, wiggling. You know, I wasn't trying to go rock up back and forth. I, I may have done that, you know, accidentally. But both of those do that. Now, I only have two, and that's, you know, scientifically, that's not proving anything, really. It's just kind of like a coincidence. But here, with these two different, you know, master locks, admittedly, it's, it's not the best bidding on these. You know, they, they don't have a lot of highs and lows in there, and it's pretty flat. And I'm using a Sparrows Tron, and I'm basically going off this warning down here, so I'm basically just wiggling, <clears throat> and I guess just doing that is enough. Even with this one, which has slightly... Get in focus there, you... A slightly lower cut but when you get in there and start wiggling this is actually the one that's easiest to do it on this one here it's also incredibly easy to zip you just sit there and go Phoop! and the thing will pop open uh, let's see if I can do that on this I'm not gobbling up a lot of time right now normally I'd be at work but it's Labor Day and I don't get paid for this, but I get the day off. It's kind of nice. Life of a temporary. Alright, let me see if I can demonstrate a zip in here without... Uh, didn't do it. It's going to make a fool out of me. You would think this one is really easy to zip, and it is. You got to get your tension right. And you got to get your pick placed right. No, it's not going to do it. This is another one of those things. I, I pressed my luck. It, I have actually got what I wanted to prove, which is that you can go in there and wiggle this thing and open it. I wanted to uh, also show that this thing was easy. It's easy to get into, basically. And you would think five pins. I'm going to give up before I start breaking my arm. Trying to zip that open. But there you go. Perhaps people have um, a Master Lock 150. 
could try this, you know, with different bidding and see if it works on you. Maybe it's just a bidding thing, you know. This puppy's closed. Closed, damn you. But I really like the size of these locks. They're, they're brass and shiny. They're smooth, you know. The laminated pad locks kind of dig in your hand. It's crap. I know these are easier to break into because brass is not as strong and all that stuff. But still... Be that as it may. It's not going to take forever. I don't know why I'm... I just... I can't stop picking is what it is. I, I've got this problem. I can't stop picking. Now it's not going to do it. Naughty Master Lock number 150. They are made in China. And... Uh, American Lock, you know, they now have been bought out by Master Lock, and you can kind of see that in the quality of them. Some of those old um, Master Locks that I had from a... i stop this. I already demonstrated what I need to demonstrate. There we go. Stopping myself from going on and on and on, but normally, without the camera on and everything else, like you've already seen, it'll... You just go in there and wiggle and it'll pop that one. And this one, one time I was just sticking the pick in. You know, and just to find out where pin 5 is. And I guess because of the angle, this is that one that sloped like that. By the time I hit pin 5, I think this is the one. We're all mixed up now and confused. Look, the keys are not even the same. Yeah, they are. There we go. Got that straight. Yeah, so on this one right here, I think because of the angle I was putting the pick in, I think I was going like this. And basically, I was just setting the pins just by by the time I hit that lowest one, the knee be lifted slightly. Ping! It opened. So, they're fun little locks to play with. Not a super challenge. I'm going to eventually get like Avis and stuff like that and different locks but I like brass locks kind of cool there you go hope everyone's having a good time and sorry to have uh, not been able to demonstrate that repeatedly